Hey Healthy Attic, this is a response to the video you made about Thunderfoot. I hope you don't mind that I decided to stick my nose in here. I can see that you two are friends, and I just recently started being vocal about these things as they're lurking quietly on the internet. Um, so, unlike Thunderfoot, I have only been openly discussing these subjects for a couple of weeks, so I'm not on anyone's radar. Uh, hopefully I can expand on some of his points and make clear some of the misconceptions I think uh, some people have with him. And Thunderfoot, if you see this, and I'm completely wrong, and just completely misread what you was trying to do, please just let me know and I'll remove this video. The first point you bring up is Thunderfoot's use of all the teach men not to rape signs. You tell us this isn't simply about teaching men not to rape, but it's about the need for comprehensive sexual education. I agree with you. I recently stated in another video that I think we need to have mandatory sex education that includes talk about rape and consent starting about the sixth grade. We agree with that 100%. I'm with you. I will even put a small domesticated animal on my shoulder. This issue is how so many people choose to promote. They just pee on me. This issue is how so many people choose to promote this. I don't rape people. Most men do not rape people. It is incredibly offensive to me and others when you, and by you, I mean the people holding the signs and chanting the chat. It makes me not want to listen to what you have to say. You're turning off potential allies. And a bigger point to me is you're giving your enemies an excuse not to listen to you. As long as you're chanting, teach men not to rape, they can argue against that. They don't have to defend not teaching people about consent. They don't have to worry about the real issue. The real issue never gets discussed. As to your second point. Thunderfoot's point about teaching women to be careful when it comes to rape. To me, it seems that in regards to the idea that seem to be pushed by some feminists, that women have zero control when it comes to minimizing rape. Yeah, he was talking to a very small group of people, but the point being that, that group is very vocal. One in four women are raped in this country. Adding the sexual harassment that you talked about in your assault video, and that covers the majority of women. That's scary. I have two daughters, and I promise that these things keep me up for nights and nights and nights. I want to help fix this. I believe this needs to be fixed. But it won't be fixed as long as we keep allowing this sensationalized, polarizing language like teach men not to rape to be used. So I support Thunderfoot's point. He wasn't talking to the larger group. He was actually talking to this small, very vocal minority who are actually hurting the cause that many of us are trying to help. So I know this was short. Thank you for listening. Um, if anyone wants to um, send a reply video to this, if they deem what I say to be important enough to reply to, uh, send me a PM. I'll definitely link it on my page. Um, and I really hope that uh, everyone has a really good night. Bye for now. Say bye to the people, Darwin.